Pizza Tower is the story of Pepino Spaghetti. That is not a joke. I mean, it, it is, but it's not. The man's really named Pepino Spaghetti, and Pizza Tower really is his story. Imagine if the most talented game dev of all time injected Rin and Stimpy straight into his veins and then did a bunch of meth and then made a Wario game for some reason. That is Pizza Tower. It's bananas. It's pizza. It's pizza time! Pepino Spaghetti is one of the most fluid and hilariously animated characters I've ever seen. He squashes and stretches, and he clearly hates his goddamn life, and it's all very relatable. Who hasn't been set on fire or dragged around by a chicken grabbing onto their chef hat? Pepino Paschetti is truly a man of the people. Where Wario is a piece of shit billionaire, the Jeff Bezos of platformers, Pepe Pepino is a worker, a struggling blue-collar tryhard who gets his restaurant annihilated at the hands of Pizza Face. And we all know what that feels like. It feels like shit. And you gotta go, go, go if you wanna save your restaurant chain so you can pay those bills on time. Wario collects treasure, sickening swaths of gold and silver, and Pepino's got 50 bucks on his person at all times. He's broke as fuck. And so he must journey through 19 very confusingly themed levels, meeting all kinds of colorful characters, often vegetable based, and collect his ingredients and a couple bucks too so he can get back up on his feet. Those feet, by the way, often turn into wheels, because Pepino is a quaking ball of anxiety, and he uses this pain as fuel to bring powerful men to justice, and to bring himself the life he deserves. In order to do so, he must jump, wall climb, wall bounce, crawl like a goblin, eat rats, and shoot potatoes. Not like, he, do he doesn't shoot a potato gun, but like he actually has to shoot potatoes to death. He has a gun, the potato gives him a gun in order to duel. Pepino wins. Pepino always wins. Good guys finish first, but only when they shoot their enemies to death. Not every food creature you encounter has devious intent, however. There are these weird, like, pizza sluts who are very friendly and give you constant advice such as Don't take breaks. Keep playing. Your time here is limited. And I'm gonna go ahead and talk about something that I've been telling others who don't know about this place of worship that you did this. Well, we're down from your pizzeria and we're down from this tower. There are customers and they don't want to see one of these things. So I got a friend, he went down one of these floors and this guy came up next to me and the idea was, why is it that when you're in the upper part of the tower there's this pizza face character? Then there's a man from your previous life leading the way. There's a pizza in your tower with all this information. Am, am I having a stroke? At the end of every level, our stalwart hero encounters a pillar named John Pillar who must be smashed for some I don't know why. Oh, it's a pillar of the pizza tower. He's knocking down support structures while he's inside the pizza. That's not a good idea, Pepino. Upon destroying one of the many pillar johns who populate the pizza monolith, the tiny chef must escape at record speed in order to prevent, uh, I'm not sure. I, I haven't actually stayed past the timer. Well, that actually wasn't that bad. I thought he was gonna die or something. It's not exactly uncommon to play games that feel good these days. Gaming in general has reached a point where devs really have a sense of what feels good on the whole, but Pepino's flow is on a whole nother level. So he just feels so right, his gathering momentum. He's like the coming storm over here. Pepino quickly gathers speed once he begins running and he'll smash through bricks like he's nothing using the power of panic attacks. He's got an expansive suite of absurd abilities that excite and titillate around every turn. And his name is Pepino Spaghetti. One final note, the soundtrack is the most banging shit you will ever hear. The pause menu alone, that shit is hot. If funky Seinfeld bass lines and Casio keyboard squeals are your thing, firstly, you're cool. Secondly, spend money on the soundtrack as well as the game. If this video hasn't convinced you of this $20 purchase, if you haven't bought Pizza Tower by the end of this sentence, KILL YOURSELF NOW!